one thing's clear about Bobby Jackson. He is not the ball of anybody. There's Dean Garrett, nearly had the steal, and now 10 to shoot it for San Antonio. Duncan left alone, fires, and Stiff has a loose basketball. Four on four, Brian Stiff all the way in, reverse layup's no good. Here's a baseball pass, Bobby Jackson. That is a shot that the Nuggets can't have. Oh, Eric Williams on. needs to get it in. Find the big man, Lauderdale. And Priest misses. Tim Duncan looking for a guard. Off to Del Negro now. 15 6, Denver by 9. Duncan, and that is his first NBA basket. 19 to 8. Pick and roll with Duncan. And Duncan goes to his offhand and finger rolls it through. And Drew, that's the second play in a row that the Nuggets have double teamed Avery Johnson off the pick and roll and let the roller wide open. That can't happen because Avery can't hurt you from out there. And that is not the game plan. Fortune stays with it. And inside, the Nuggets had three opportunities. Will Purdue is checked in for San Antonio. He leans on Priest Lauderdale. Johnny Newman off a screen, that's way off, and Tim Duncan chases it down. Nuggets by five, and there's a steal by Newman. Four on two the other way. Eight-point lead for the Nuggets. The three-point line out a couple more feet to where it used to be. More than 23 feet away. Tim Duncan's fouled. The least likely outside shooter on the floor for San Antonio is Avery Johnson. Duncan. The consensus player of the year in college basketball last season. You know, it's interesting for the first time in NBA history, as you look at his preseason numbers, he led the team with those 15 points. San Antonio has three former John Wooden Award winners in Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Sean Elliott. Johnson has it stolen by the T, kicked out of bounds. Oh, and no. they are oh, saying no. it's San Antonio know. basketball. Eric Williams will step out, Brian Stiff back in. Take another look at that, but T, good uh, anticipation. And it sure looks like Duncan was the one who swiped at it and knocked it out of bounds. A very solid opening quarter for the Young Nuggets. They lead San Antonio 26-21 from McNichols Arena. Eric Williams against Sean Elliott. He had a good first quarter. Nuggets have, have gone to their set offense now. Oh, oh great move great by move. Eric Williams, but it was partially blocked. Jackson, tough shot, and Tim Duncan has the basketball. Well, sure they do, but uh, uh, they're not taking advantage of going inside. Even when they do go inside, like that time, Tim Duncan caught the ball way off the low block and was still able to bank it home. Joe Wolf picks up number two. And they're going to give it to Bobby Jackson on the reach in. See, even when Duncan caught the ball, he was still a good uh, 12, 15 feet away from the basket. Puts it on the floor and banks it home, but misses the opportunity for the three point play. 40 35, Denver by five. Duncan, and the wild pass, trying to get it to Malik Rose. 50 to 43. Bobby Jackson with 13 in the opening half. Let's take a look at the Miller genuine draft first half numbers. Dan, what jumps out at you? Well, again, the free throws really jump out, and the fact that uh, the Nuggets have been able to stay with San Antonio, the much bigger San Antonio Spurs, on the backboard. Duncan lobs. David Robinson waits, and. That is just the second bucket tonight for Robinson. They can keep the turnovers down. They can win this game. Well, you can see the strategy very early. Greg Pyramus told San Antonio get the ball inside. That's exactly. I'm sure the halftime speech was, hey, guys, we got two seven-footers on the floor that can play. Let's get the ball inside. Well, David Robinson pokes it away from Eric Williams. Three on two. Dunk it to Robinson. Oh. 
You know, I know Robinson played only six games last year, but does he look like his back is still bothering him? Because he has looked very, very mechanical in this game. Nothing fluid about Robinson's game at all. Sean Elliott, quick release. And Brian Stiff gets it away from Tim Duncan. Nuggets by two. Jaron Jackson, the veteran out of Georgetown. Off to Duncan, isolated against the T. And Tony, ooh. Had a good defense. Tim Duncan just threw well, that it. That was a tough shot. The Nuggets couldn't play that anymore. That's a tough shot, but it also shows the mobility of a seven-footer like Tim Duncan. Well, the Nuggets flip-flop on top by one. Push off on Tim Duncan. Good defense by Eric Williams, fronting Tim Duncan down low. And it's 63-62, San Antonio, four minutes to go in the third. Steph gets a step, and he was fouled. Monty Williams put his hand in the air. He didn't want Tim Duncan to get the foul. And Joe Forte says, fine, I'll give it to you, Monty. Well, uh, Brian puts the ball on the floor. Three chapters closed on opening night at Big Mac. San Antonio down seven at the break. Now lead by two. 73-71 as we head off to the fourth quarter. And he's going to get a number of points every night from the free throw line because he's excellent at drawing the foul. There's a breakdown by quarters, the 30-point third quarter for San Antonio that erased the deficit, and a 13-6 start in the opening four and a half of the fourth quarter. Of course, Alex, you remember when Dan had teeth, too, so the time does fly. Uh, Duncan gets the roll, and that was a tough shot. San Antonio back up by eight. Yeah, they can't, uh, they've gotten a position now under five minutes to go. They can't afford to trade baskets. Robinson, wild shot, but Duncan there to clean it up. And Robinson missed three seven-footers, missed from point-blank range. Dump into Robinson, takes about three nuggets to the basket. He misses, Tim Duncan misses, and Robinson misses. Back live, San Antonio turned it over off the inbound. The Nuggets pick up a three-quarter court. Rebounds now a big disparity, plus 14 for the Spurs. Tim Duncan continues to have turnover problems. Well, that he, is not a play that Dan Nissel would have made. He tried to make a great play there and threw it about four rows up. Glad to see David finally got in shape in the offseason, huh? <laughs> See, unbelievable. And Petit misses both free throws. He had been three of three. It was an opportunity to get it to six. Instead, Del Negro makes it 10, maybe 11. And Bill Hanslick not pleased with that. almost a walk on Del Negro. 10-point lead for San Antonio, 3.08 left. The Spurs continue to beat the Nuggets on the offensive board. There's a steal by Stiff, open floor. Johnson to beat. Great play. Well, Brian Stiff is the type of player that will come up with those big defensive plays for you. Now the Nuggets are with uh, in eight. 94-86, the Nuggets are not done yet. Plenty of time to go, 2.52 left from Big Mac. Stiff and Jackson out there, Dean Garrett, Tony Petit, and Eric Williams. Duncan trapped, and a oh, they're foul gonna say he was pushed on Dean out of Garrett. Bounds. That looked like a good defensive play to me. They stopped him on the baseline. Take another look at it as uh, Tim Duncan goes baseline, the double team, and yeah, but he had the hand in the small of his back. It probably wasn't enough force to get him out of bounds, but the official saw the hand, the left hand in the back. And now San Antonio defense. being wise, using a lot of clock. Duncan to turn around, and the rebound of Bobby Jackson. 
That's the one thing that impressed me most about Bobby Jackson and looking at his preseason stats. He averaged five rebounds a game. He did that in college better than six rebounds a game. Here's Garrett. And he hesitated. And David Robinson affected the shot. David Robinson standing in front of you will do that. Nuggets have to do a good job of stopping them here. Here's Duncan. A lot of contact with the tee and a whistle. So Duncan will go to the line. Well, let's take a look at tomorrow's headlines tonight. Brought to you by the Denver Post. The Nuggets begin a new era under general manager Alan Bristow, head coach Bill Hanslick. Chauncey Billups' debut must have been pretty good if Boston beat Chicago. And complete high school coverage, Friday night football. It's the final week of the regular season in high school football. Tim Duncan makes good on the front end, 97-88 and 98-88. Duncan with 15 points in the basketball game. The focus will be on Tim Duncan wherever he goes this year. Dan, you like him a lot, though. I really do, and I think there's four reasons, Drew, that, uh, that Tim Duncan will be the Rookie of the Year. He obviously has the talent. He has a maturity level, unlike a lot of talented players today. He stayed in college all four years. He has a great mentor in David Robinson, not only in terms of basketball skills, but in how to conduct yourself as a professional basketball player. And it's not very often that the number one pick in the draft gets a chance to play on one of the best teams in the NBA, and that's what San Antonio is going to be this year. I mean, with, with the talent they have on the floor, you have to believe that they have an opportunity to win 60-plus games again. Well, as I said earlier, year before last, before all of the uh, injuries, they won 57 games with basically this same team, and now they get to add a Tim Duncan. 60 wins is not out of the question. You know, one of the interesting sidebars to this season for the San Antonio Spurs, before David Robinson arrived, while well, he was finishing his military commitment to the Navy, they uh, were a poor basketball team. When he played his first year, they improved by 35 games, which is an NBA record. Last year, San Antonio won 20. I think that record may stay in San Antonio, but it may go up from 35. <laughs> I agree with you, Drew. I think that, that the addition of Tim Duncan, David Robinson coming back, Sean Elliott, they are going to be a great team this year.